Hello viewers today we are going to start our lecture number 2 of unit 1 matrices and determinants 9th class i am discussing with you math of 9th class science group mathematics of 9th class science group unit 1 matrices and determinants and here is the exercise 1.2 question number 1 from the following matrices identify unit matrices row matrices column matrices and null matrices this is the first one a matrix whose all entries are zero is called the null matrix it has two rows and two columns so if you want to describe it order wise you can say that it is a null matrix of order 2 Here is another matrix, matrix B. You can see it. It has only one row, so this matrix can be called as a row matrix. It's a row matrix. as you can see it has only one row so this matrix c has only one column so it can be called as a column matrix here is another one for you here it is if a matrix has one in its diagonal then it is called a diagonal matrix but in the case uh, if the elements in the diagonal are one only and all other elements are zero this matrix is called the identity matrix so matrix d is uh, an identity matrix which Uh, another name that we use for it is unit matrix so we can call it a unit matrix or an identity matrix here this matrix has zero as its element so it is a null matrix of order 1 1 row and 1 column so it is a null matrix here f has only one column so it's a column matrix so matrix f is a column matrix now we go to the next question here question number 2 says from the following matrices identify square matrices rectangular matrices row matrices column matrices identity matrices let's see and null matrices here i have uh, for brevity i have written whatever the matrix was under it for example this matrix has two rows and three columns two rows and three columns so the number of rows and the number of columns are not equal if the number of rows and the number of columns are not equal then the matrix is called rectangular matrix here there is only one column for this matrix so it is a column matrix here there are two rows and two columns so it is a square matrix 
it has one in the diagonal and all other elements are zero so it is a unit matrix or the identity matrix here there are three rows and two columns so it is again a rectangular matrix it has only one row so it's a row matrix it has only one column so it's a column matrix it has three rows and three columns so it's a square matrix and this is a null matrix because all the entries in this in this matrix are zero so it is a null matrix of order 3 by 2 3 rows and 2 columns now we have question number 3 from the following matrices identify diagonal scalar and unit matrices if the elements in the diagonal are same other than one such matrix is called scalar scalar matrix this matrix has only elements in the diagonal and all other elements are zero so it's a diagonal matrix here again in the diagonal there are only there is only one as an element and all other elements are zero so it is an identity matrix or unit matrix here again the diagonal has main diagonal has some element in it other than zero and all other elements are zero so it's a diagonal matrix here 5 minus 3 is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 so these two elements are the same then and all other elements are zero so it's a scalar matrix so what i just said i have also written here i told you about a and e these are the scalar matrices a has four in the diagonal and e has two in the diagonal so a and e are scalar matrices now unit matrix is c you can see that uh, in the diagonal one is written and all other elements are zero so it's a unit matrix or identity matrix and if we are finding di diagonal matrices so all the matrices are actually diagonal matrices because in the diagonal elements are written and other elements are zero only the elements which are present other than zero are in the diagonal so in a way we can say that all the matrices are basically diagonal matrices question number four find the negative of matrices a b c d and e a is here, B is here, C is here, D, E. These are the matrices for you. Now we find their negative matrices. Here is A. To find a negative of A, we just change its uh, change the signs of its elements. So here. 1 becomes negative 1, 0 uh, is same and the negative 1 becomes positive 1. So it is a negative of A. Similarly, the negative of B can be found by changing the signs of all the elements. This plus 3 will become minus 3. This minus 1 becomes plus 1. This plus 2 becomes minus 2. And this plus 1 becomes minus 1. Similarly, this C matrix, it's a negative of C. The negative of C can be found by changing the signs of these elements. Here again, 
negative d can be found by changing the signs of these elements and here e is also found in the similar way now we go to the next question question number 5 find the transpose of each of the following matrices here we have a transpose means that we change column into row here is a column and we have made a row of it so it's called transpose here this one column is in the first row the second column is the second row this third column is the third row so changing columns to rows produces a transpose you can do it the other way around that is you can also change rows into columns it doesn't make any difference the end result is the same but you are not allowed to do both things at the same time you can either convert columns to rows or or just rows to columns only one thing here this first column is made into a row and the second column is made into a second row so it is the transpose of c now we we want to find the transpose of d so this first column is made into a row and the second column is made the second row similarly this first column is made a first row and the second column is made the second row and the same is the case with this this first column is the first row and the second column is the second row so that is the transpose of f question number 6 verify that if a 1 2 0 and b 1 2 then and prove that a transpose transpose equals a and b transpose transpose equals equals b let's see taking the left hand side of this a transpose transpose i have written the value of a here and taken its transpose taking this first column and making it a row and taking the second column and making it a row now this is the first transpose of this now we make the second transpose taking the first column and making it a row and taking the second column and making it the second row so we see that this matrix is the same as was a 1 2 0 and here 1 2 0 so it is a so the first thing is proved same is the case here we can take the left hand side of the of it b transpose transpose i have written b here and transpose and transpose put, put making the first column as the first row and second column as the second row this is the first transpose again this first column is the first row and this second column is the second row so it again becomes b where we started this was b 1 2 1 0 here again 1 2 1 0 so we i can write b in place of this matrix so b transpose transpose equals b and this is what we want we wanted to prove and that is the end of our exercise 1.2 i hope you like it and for more videos subscribe to my channel it's goodbye till the next lecture